Renato. Renato. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Who are you and what kind of music do you make? Um, I am a musician, a singer, songwriter. Um, yeah, I make various kinds of music, really. Um, can we start again? I'm just, yeah, <laughs> I'm a bit thrown off. All right, we'll take it from the top. Mm -hmm. So, Renato. Yeah. Who are you and what kind of music do you make? Who influences you or what do you sound like? Okay. Um, I'm a musician. I'm a songwriter and a singer. Um, the music I kind of make, I guess it's influenced by soul music and rhythm and blues. Mm -hmm. And also with some of like our usual pop influences from the day. Um, Any particular artists? The kind of artists I... I kind of gravitate towards um, kind of like some of the funk artists from like the 70s and 80s, like Earth, Wind and Fire. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I guess more recently some more sort of jazz influences, which kind of come in the form of Herbie Hancock. And yeah, then I guess the soul influences come in the form of something like Donny Hathaway. All right. And yeah, just there's there's a lot there's a lot of a lot of influences. So you do the whole thing. You sing, produce, play instruments. Do you in a band? What's For me, the main thing I I do is sing, play keyboard, and write songs. That's that's sort of my three pillars. It's so a versatile instrument. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I I I love what I do. So yeah. Cool. How long have you been doing it for? Um, I've been singing probably all of my life. Yeah. Since I exited the womb, probably. All right. And uh, um, I picked up piano towards like the end of end of sec end of like primary school, right? And started writing my first song, and kind that kind of like carried through into my studies do studying pop music okay. at the Brit School. Oh, and Brit School. After yeah, man, yeah, and, nice. and that was that was a really good time. It was four years of just really intense study of music in various different units and stuff. It was super. Super cool and an inspiring place to be over those four years. After that, I was kind of seeking kind of somewhere else musically, mm -hmm. and I found jazz and started studying um, alongside the mentorship of Julian Joseph. So he was kind of like showing me the ropes and mm -hmm. saying, "Oh, check this record, check this record, check this record." So over that period of time, I just had loads of stuff ingested like into my ears, and and um, yeah, I I kind of gravitated towards that side of things and started studying there. Yeah, that, I mean, I've been doing it for for quite a while, but it's kind of it's all grown and pieced itself together over time. So mm -hmm. yeah. So, um, what has been the career highlights so far? Career highlights. Because I mean, someone from the Brit School, you must be well connected and tried a lot of interesting <laughs> things. I mean, um, for for me, I think th there's been there's been quite a few. I feel like I've been quite fortunate in kind of. This is kind of going on to like what I would kind of encourage loads of young musicians to do is kind of just take challenges which may seem slightly out of your comfort zone. Right. Because what happens is I I took a lot of those those chances and, and kind of said, actually, I reckon with a bit of work, I could get up to the standard where I need to kind of nail this. Mm. So I, I kind of did that and, and like kind of, I guess, reaped the benefits of having done that. Um, one of them was... Um, auditioning for a show which eventually went on to the West End like for myself I, I'd studied units and when I was studying singing I did like musical theatre grades and I moved on to pop vocal grades right. and carried on that way but that kind of took me in the direction of actually doing musical theatre stuff professionally oh. so I, I ended up doing like a show on the West End and that, that thing's kind of what show was that? It's, it was called Close to You and it was celebrating the music of legendary songwriter Burt Bacharach. Oh, yeah, so, yeah. And on that show I was singing, I was playing keyboards and kind of acting and kind of dancing and just like being part of a seven seven piece cast with no orchestra. So we were kind of like providing everything, which was, it was a crazy time and it was like work, so to speak, was in Piccadilly Circus. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it was just crazy. But um, so those those things wouldn't have happened if I didn't throw myself in and kind of like gave my all at like, the first step of like auditioning and stuff like that, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but another highlight, I guess, would be like going to Grammy Camp in LA and studying there under the mentorship of the the kind of like 
I guess, I guess more legendary like songwriters and like just imparting their knowledge onto a lot of young people who are just there ready to like kind of take what they're doing to the next level and they're super passionate about what they're doing right. I love those environments of being around like equal equally passionate minded people and I guess now that I'm out of like so called institutions I'm trying to like create those those spaces for myself and for others to enjoy yeah Cool. So what's happening in uh, 2019? 2019. Oh, we're almost over halfway through I know. now. But it's, it's been quite passes. eventful. It's been quite eventful. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I recently s- set up a jam session in Brixton um, called Straight Pocket. And cool. we're there every Monday night. And we we, we play music centered around groove music. So that's, that's kind of the aim nice. there. And people come from everywhere to come through. Have people from all over the world come through and just 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 share music with everyone and it's another one of those environments which i was talking about earlier which it kind of just sparks up everyone's creativity when you're there and it's just a good time cool yeah so that's a monday feel good thing which i love doing what um ab- what about like upcoming releases what's upcoming uh, releases so i guess upcoming releases would be my record which is in the works which will be coming out pretty soon i think yeah um there's some other things which are kind of like in the pipeline before that, which um, are kind of like centered around a release I did alongside a producer for his record, mm-hmm. which has just started like kind of doing quite well. I had plays from like Jam Supernova on like BBC and and a couple of really cool like stations, just something at Worldwide. And um, I just, I think that was another one. Another one is where like, it wasn't completely in my comfort zone. It was right. like, it's like a broken beat track. It's called Changes. And the, uh, the producer's called EVM128. And he sent through the beat and I was like, cool. Um, I'm going to write the top line on top of it and, and you know, write the song, the melody. And and um, we kind of just took it from there. I just recorded it in my room and then next minute it's on the record and it's on a vinyl and it's doing releases and all sorts. So like those things kind of just happened. If, if I was like, oh, actually... I don't know if I'm going to be able to um, put it together or, you know, I, I, that would never happen, you know. So it sounds like you've been trying a lot of different things and going outside of your comfort zone. What about like artists who are struggling to find opportunities and or struggling to get out of their comfort zone? Um, make yourself do it, you know, like like kind of go, I, I think there's nothing better than human connection. Yeah. So that's just go to jam sessions, go to meet other musicians. um try not to be too sterile about it. You know, a lot of people, we're in the age of email and like internet and stuff. Yeah. People love like kind of doing stuff from their smartphones, but nothing beats human connection. So just go talk to people, talk to someone who like you think is a couple steps ahead of where you want to be mm-hmm. and kind of just find find what, they, what, what they're experiencing and maybe they can give you some tips. What about people who are a couple of steps behind you? How do they find you online? Um... People can follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is at Renato P Music. And yeah, that's the main port of call. Um, yeah, that's that's really the main place. Yeah, just send me a message on there, really. I've got Facebook and Twitter. Yeah, you just type my Renato Paris Music. You'll find something there, yeah. Good stuff. Thank you so much for your time. Oh, no worries. Yeah.